Hello everyone, let's look at the common input devices and some LEDs that we may find on an open laptop. So we'll take a look at these everyday essentials, shall we? I'll open up my laptop and the first thing we'll take a look at is here at the top of my screen. Like, well something's wrong. What's missing? Well what's missing at the top of my screen on my laptop is I don't have a video input device, which is a webcam. I also don't have an audio input device, which would be a microphone. But up here, what is at the top of my laptop screen is antenna for my wireless network card. These wireless network cards, you'll usually find them down below underneath your keyboard, and they'll be attached to your motherboard somewhere under here. Those wires from that wireless network card will go up the side of that display into the top, like I have showed you. So that's the common item. So when your laptop lid is open, you'll have a good wireless signal. Now, to continue on, we've got this touchpad. And our touchpad is where we can, of course, move our cursor. This is an input device for your mouse. We have our left click, our right click, and look at these lines. This is called the scroll zone. With the scroll zone, it's just like being able to scroll up and down with a mouse wheel on an external mouse. I can scroll up and down on web pages and things like docs. Now, continuing onwards, we want to take a look at some of these keys here and what we have and don't have. The first thing you'll notice is I don't have a 10 key keypad attached on the right side of my laptop. Some of our larger laptops will have a 0 through 9 10 key keypad. For mine, they're actually built in to my normal keys. For example, if I were to hold the function key, I could then press 7, 8, or 9, and it will do in blue 7, 8, 9. Also, we can see that J is 1, K is 2, L is 3, and so on. That's my keypad. It's integrated into my current keyboard when I hold down that function key. As we continue on and talk more about the function keys, we'll zoom in a little bit and go to the top. At the top of my keyboard, we'll see that I can hold the function key and use F3. F3 is the moon, which is the sleep symbol that'll put my computer to sleep. F4 is going to send my display to an external output or mirror what's on my laptop display to an external output. Think connecting to a projector or an external monitor. With function in F8, which is a battery, I can actually see my battery status on the screen. Function F9, that's going to turn down my screen brightness, helps me save battery life. F10 will increase my screen brightness, we need better visibility. F11 is going to control your ambient light sensor. You can turn it on or off. The ambient light sensor allows your screen to automatically display what it thinks is best for the room conditions you're in. On the top right side, we've got our number lock, break, and we've got two more keys here, print screen and system RQ. Really top right, which you'll notice here, is a little microphone symbol. This is actually my audio in. My laptop does have an integrated mic, which is right there. Besides those function keys, what I'd like to show you is the keys at the top of the laptop. These keys are special. They're going to be based off of the type of laptop that you've purchased, and these are known as capacitive. It's capacitive touch, because when I press on that audio button, it's going to automatically mute. Now it's capacitive, it doesn't push down like a key on a keyboard, it just senses your touch. This is a scroll capacitive touch for audio volume level. Scrolling to the right will increase the volume, scrolling to the left will decrease. On the far left, I have customizable buttons. I have an info button that I can set in software on my computer. Then I've got a presenter button that I can set in software. The presenter button is different than function F4. The presenter button, I can click on that and have that change my power plan or settings on my laptop. In the middle, I have my wireless status indicator. These can also be capacitive as well to disable or enable your wireless networking adapter. So to close it up, what we want to take a look at is some of the LED lights besides these capacitive items at the top. And then, of course, a power button there with a power light on it. But what we're going to do is take a look at the bottom of my laptop keyboard. I've got my wireless network LED. I've got my power LED for powered on. I've got my battery charging indicator LED. My hard disk activity light for my hard drive. Now on the other side, all the way over here, what we'll find is this interesting little contraption. This is going to be a biometric fingerprint scanner. And that is another input device. We can utilize this for authentication. These fingerprint readers can authenticate your laptop when you log in to the operating system or even used by applications for you to authenticate within an application or on a website that requires special software. Now with everything we've taken a look at with this laptop, 
it's going to be different from other laptops that you're going to find because every vendor and every model are going to be a little bit different. But as you proceed in your journey towards being an IT professional, I hope you feel more comfortable understanding the common input devices and LEDs of a laptop computer.